everyone, Scott Johansson here from Model Club TV, giving you another 3D printing tip for all you Saturn users as well. And this might apply to other Elegoo products as well. So be sure to check out my last video where we changed the FEP using this jig. And there's information on emailing me if you want one of these. I'll print one up for you. Very minimal charge. As you can see, I have to finally uh, do this one. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a couple marks in here that are a little suspect. And I don't want to jinx myself. I've never had a leak. So let's not have one. So my new Saturn problem. What is it? Well, funny you should ask. So everyone that owns a Saturn recognizes this bad boy. This is your build plate. And what happens is when you level it, it, it levels and squares up and you tighten everything and you're good. Well, what was happening is, as I was prying parts off, I noticed that this was swiveling like this. It wasn't swiveling, um, you know, like the horizontal swivel here, but it was this vertical swivel was swiveling. And no matter how tight I tighten these two bolts, I could not get this thing tight. It was driving me nuts. And I always say, don't over tighten. So, of course, I over tightened. And uh, then I started to do some research and I came across a video on taking one of these build plates apart from Mars. And also, um, I came across an, one guy had a post on the Elegoo board that um, what had happened to his. So, um, we're going to be right back. I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to show you what happened to cause this so it wouldn't tighten. All right. Be right back. Okay, kids, we're back. So we have our build plate. And again, I'll recap. Build plate, when it's mounted, this it'll still swivel pretty easy, even when these two bolts are tight. So first thing you have to do is figure out why this is going on. So I'm going to turn on this really bright light, and I'm going to show you why in a second. In the very back, there's a little set screw here. It takes a 1.5. And I use these drivers. I recommended them before. I can't recommend them enough. They make things so much easier. And I'm going to put it in here. Sure I am. There you go. Now I'm going to loosen this up. I'm going to keep a little pressure on it while I do it too. So I'm going to loosen this up. And what's going to happen is voila. See that? See how it came off the ball? Now you're going to see a spring in there too. Okay. Now. There's a collar in here, and what happens is when you tighten these two bolts up, it tightens this collar around this ball. And that's what keeps it from moving up and down or swiveling or and staying level. So what was happening to me is it was it was swiveling. It wasn't it wasn't going up and down, but it was it was swiveling. And so I thought maybe the, these were stripped out, but these don't even touch the ball. So it's just this thing clamping on the ball. So I was like, what could be wrong? Well, glad you asked. Watch this. This is pretty interesting. Look at that. So what happened is, on one of my prying parts off things, and I was holding the handle, I must have done this. And when I did that, it caused a this to loosen. They do put thread lock on but I think the repeated baths in denatured alcohol weakened it. And then, so when I put that pressure on it, it loosened it. And then I could never fully tighten it. So what's the fix? Well, the fix is some Loctite thread locker. I got the red 271. Now, when you put this on, you're never going to get it off without heat, unless you soak it in denatured alcohol over and over for 10 months. So you put a couple drops on the threads here. And you take your ball and you put it back. You thread it back on real nice. There's a beetle at my feet. There you go. And all you have to do is kind of hand tighten it. And what happens is when there's a lack of oxygen, that's what activates this, I think. So this will set up in about 10 minutes, 24 hours for total setup. So try to avoid the soak for about that long. So now you're good to go. That should stay in place. Now you go to put this back together, and it's reversed. So you take your 
collar here. You put your spring in here. You drop it onto here. Now watch, we're going to go again. We're going to go below the ball. And you're going to see where the set screw is here. And I have to turn it towards me so I can see it. Okay. And now we're going to tighten. Righty tighty for those of you that don't know. You just got to tighten a little bit and you can see it's on. It's not going to fall off. Okay. So that, that set screw holds the ball. So now we're ready to just put it on and level it. Now, now that I know that set screw is there, I'm going to tighten it just a few more turns. But you don't have to go super tight. You want this to move. And um, so once you've done, now that I know that's there, okay, I would suggest to everyone, keep an eye on that. Because if that ever falls out, your plate's going to drop right into your vat and maybe break your screen and make a big mess. And uh, I wouldn't want to see that happen to anyone. So now you're ready to just hook back up, level, align, and start printing. All right, I hope this helps anybody that has this problem. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please uh, watch Model Club TV. Thanks, everyone.